Hi there, I'm Renee Fuentes and welcome back to my channel, Thai Caliente. Today I have a sweet treat for you just in time for the holidays and we're gonna be making chocolate Mexican wedding cookies. They smell so good. They're also known as chocolate snowball cookies. So great in cookie exchange boxes. You can even make the dough ahead of time, freeze it and then bake it once you're ready to eat them. So there's no eggs in this dough. So if you wanna taste a little uh, sneak peek of it, by all means, go for it. Um, but let's get started. So I have one cup of pecan pieces here that I've just lightly toasted. We're also going to pulse these until they get into kind of a chunky powder. And then I have two cups of all-purpose flour, a little bit of vanilla extract. You can also use Mexican vanilla too for a little more flavor. I have one teaspoon of cinnamon. This is half a cup of powdered sugar, a third of a cup of cocoa powder, two sticks of room temperature butter, and then this is half a cup of mini chocolate chips. Um, I'm just adding those in because I like the extra chocolate flavor, but you can omit those if you like. So like I said, um, these pecans are slightly toasted and I'm just gonna give them a pulse. And I don't want a fine powder, but I do want them into little pieces. So this right here is perfect. So go ahead and get the all-purpose flour and add the pecans that we just pulsed. We're going to add the cocoa powder, cinnamon, and salt, and then we're just going to give that a mix and set it aside. And this will be our dry ingredients. So now in a stand mixer with the pedal attachment, go ahead and add your room temperature butter. You wanna make sure it is softened enough so that way it can cream easily. And half a cup of powdered sugar. You can also do regular sugar as well, but I like kind of um, how easily the powdered sugar melts into the butter and just kinda goes with the powdered sugar that we're gonna add um, over the cookies. So go ahead and scrape down the sides of the bowl. After a few minutes, go ahead and add your vanilla, keep whipping it, and then we're going to slowly add the dry mixture that we just combined. I did about a third of the mixture right here. Turn on your mixer, start mixing it, and then while the mixer is on low, you can go ahead and continue adding spoonfuls of the flour mixture. So once that is incorporated, go ahead and add the mini chocolate chips if you are using them. You can also do some white chocolate chips or mint chips, um, or you can add extra nuts if you like. And then just mix that until they are incorporated. And at this point, the dough is done. So if you did wanna sneak a little taste test, you could do so at this point. But go ahead and scrape the dough all together, and then we're actually going to chill it so that way um, it can harden a little bit. So wrap it up in plastic, chill it for at least 30 minutes. You can chill it up to overnight, which is actually what I ended up doing here. Um, and then to roll the balls evenly, I just cut it with a kitchen knife into even squares. And then you want to roll it into a smooth ball and then go ahead and place it on a baking sheet. So these cookies are not going to spread much even though they do have a lot of butter. Um, so you can place them fairly close to each other. I like to just kind of flatten the tops out a little bit just so um, they can kind of have a dome shape once they're done baking. So we're gonna bake them in a 350 degree oven for about 13 to 16 minutes. I ended up doing, um, I think 15 minutes on these and then cool them on the baking sheet for five minutes and while they're still warm we want to go ahead and roll them in powdered sugar so i found that it was easier if the powdered sugar was sifted so if you have the time go ahead and sift your powdered sugar but you can see here that the cookie is still slightly warm and the powdered sugar sticks to it so beautifully you want to make sure the cookies are not too hot otherwise it will melt the powdered sugar so make sure you let them cool for at least five minutes on the baking sheet before you start rolling them into the sugar. So go ahead and continue doing this until all of the cookies have been coated in the powdered sugar. You can also do a light dusting of powdered sugar once they are all done to present them on a platter. 
I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Leave me any comments below. Don't forget to subscribe. And you guys are going to love these chocolate Mexican wedding cookies. They just have a nice buttery chocolate taste to them. And that powdered sugar on top is just perfection. All right, you guys, I will see you next time and have a happy holiday. Take care.